Yo, B Dubs. Bruce Wayne, we gotta do a video. Your people need you. Hold up, dude. What up, dude? Are you sleeping? What's up? <laughs> oh, your your tongue went actually in my mouth. Okay. Okay. Quick hug and kiss, but we, we gotta get you flip flop, dude. You don't need to put your um, tongue in my mouth. Not not cool, bro. Not cool. We gotta let these guys know how we got this coat so shiny. They want to know how you got a shiny coat. One of the most common questions I get, well, other than who made him, which we'll do a video on if we hit 100,000 subscribers by April 20th, April 20th, August 20th. If you want to show Bruce Wayne some love and support, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, ring my ding -a -ling so you don't miss any of the newest videos on Kane Corsals or Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Proud. Proud and shiny. That's that's Bruce Wayne. Proud and shiny. And not only is that a common question I get online, it's a very common question I get in person. How'd you get his coat so shiny? And his coat isn't even as shiny as it typically is right now. So I know I did a video on grooming. You guys can check that out. Um, but I want to share specifically how I got Bruce Wayne's coat so shiny and how I got my Kane Corso to basically barely shed. That's right, bro, you barely shed. He's shedding right now, it's still shedding season. The temperatures have been going back and forth. A couple weeks ago it was snowing, today it's supposed to be 80, and it's just messing with his whole, his whole entire coat blowing. So there's a couple steps to this, and I'm gonna start with the least important step. And I'm starting with the least important step because a lot of comments are like, what do you use for shampoo on your dog? He's so shiny. What do you brush your dog with? He's so shiny. That probably has maybe, what do you think, bro? 10%? Maybe? How shiny you are? Maybe 10%. What I do is I bathe Bruce Wayne two times a week. Oh, are you looking at your shirt on the camera? Are you looking at your shirt on the monitor? You look good in this shirt. You look good in that shirt, bro. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You can check out my merch box down below. Get yourself some Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne merch. You're like cramping my style. We just gotta like, no, you stay there. You don't need to be like on top of me. There we go, that's good. Good boy. You can stay right there. I'll pet your stomach, how's that? Oh yeah. You just keep looking at your people. You just keep looking at your people. So I bathe Bruce Wayne two times a week. During the bath, I brush him and brush him and brush him more. I brush him with a Ferminator, right here, Ferminator. Not sponsored by Ferminator. Um, this is what I've used his whole life, other than when he was a tiny puppy. I introduced like a really soft, bristly brush to him at first. Um, this works great to get um, that excess hair off him. So I'll, I'll brush him in the bathtub before I get him wet. I'll brush him, brush him, brush him, get rid of all the hair. I'll get him wet with the shower. And then the shampoo, everybody's like, what shampoo do you use? It's nothing special. He deals with seasonal allergies. He's outside a lot, laying in the grass. So I use something called Vet Quinol Universal Medicated Shampoo. And I got this after he developed hot spots. Um, we went away on a trip somewhere, picked him up, and he had hot spots after. It could have been like a stress response, or it could have been because he was outside so much, an allergic response. Um, the vet wasn't sure, but that's what we've been using ever since. And it seems to work great. So after I brush him, I get him all wet and then I will just bathe him with this. I'll put this all over his coat, get his feet, get between his toes. Um, I don't get his face or his ears. I do, I'll do clean that with a, with a washcloth, a wet washcloth. And then I let the shampoo sit on him for 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, I rinse it off. Simple as that. I do that every Monday and I do that every Friday because he goes to daycare on Friday and he's extremely dirty after. Easy, right? Well, that's just a small minority of why he, he literally feels like a plush teddy bear. Like I just wanna hug him, I just wanna lay on him all the time. And anybody that comes up and pets him that's never met him before, they're like, oh my God, he is so soft. He's literally like velvet. Now this is the reason why his coat is like that. This, this outside stuff, it's 10% it's, it's maybe, maybe not even that. It's internally. What are you doing for your dog internally? By that I mean their diet. Are they on a really high quality kibble? And if they are and their coat still looks like crap or they're still shedding a ton, you may want to consider a raw diet. Bruce Wayne's been on a raw diet since he's been eight months old. Within a month of putting him on a raw diet, it fixed a bunch of digestive issues he was having. But not only that, we got the benefit of he pretty much stopped shedding. I'm not joking. Like he barely sheds unless it's shedding season. His energy levels seem more stable. He seemed just overall happier. It was weird. I don't know how to describe it. He just seemed like he was happier about life. Not only did he stop shedding, his coat got extremely shiny, like extremely shiny and extremely soft. I'm like, oh my God, why couldn't I have had my previous dog, an English bulldog, 
that shed nonstop and had a wiry coat on a raw diet. My bad, lessons learned. I'm not gonna go into exactly the foods I feed him, but he's not even looking as good as he typically does. Probably about six months ago, I started sourcing food from an organic farmer all organic, grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Everything's pasture-raised, grass-fed, grain-free. And his coat even got better. I'm not joking, it got crazy. He's been on grocery store food because the farmer's been out of food for about a month now. So he's starting to look a little bit dingier than he normally does. On the grass-fed, grass-finished meat I was giving him, his coat just, like, within a week I noticed a difference. It was crazy. Grocery store, raw meat, Still better, in my opinion, than most kibbles, or all kibbles, depending on what you're feeding your dog. I actually have a raw course, it's linked in the description, that walks you through everything you need to know to get your dog on a raw diet, when you can start on a raw diet, which is the moment you have your puppy, um, how to transition your dog on a raw diet, amounts to feed, what to feed, the whole nine yards. Check that out in the description if you're curious about a raw diet. It's great, and actually, it may not be released yet. Will and I are bundling as well the raw course with another course I just did called uh, The Ultimate Breed Connie Corso, and then his puppy course and his canine boot camp. So you can get the whole, Bruce, they can get the whole kit and caboodle if they want. The whole kit and caboodle from start to finish, hours of lessons for you guys, you guys will be good to go. Sorry for going off on a tangent, but I know I'm gonna get a ton of questions about raw course down below if you need to know anything about it. But I'm gonna share a couple other things I do with his raw diet. Yeah, things that he loves. So another thing that really helps with the shiny coat is making sure they're getting enough fats in the proper fats. He gets these on a weekly basis. He does not get them every single day. Yeah, you like this stuff. One thing is organic coconut oil, okay? Extra virgin organic coconut oil um, is I like to give him this. I give him one to two tablespoons, uh, two, three times a week, typically. What I do is I'll just melt it in a bowl and then I'll just pour it on top of his food and he goes crazy. It's great for their coat, it's just great for them overall. It's great, hey, it's great for you. So if you got some organic coconut oil laying around, give your dog some, put some on your burgers, put some on your turkeys. Am I making you hungry? Talking about food. The next thing I like to give him, and I give them probably two times a week, is organic hemp hearts. Another great source of omegas for your dog. So we have those two things, and then one addition, one other addition, I'm out, he's bummed about it, is I typically give him one can of sardines a day. Almost every day, Bruce Wayne gets a can of sardines. Not every day, but probably five days a week. So anybody that wants to get their dog's coat shiny, um, but they don't want to go to a raw diet. You can still implement coconut oil. You can still implement hemp hearts. Um, you can melt the coconut oil, pour it over the kibble, and you can still give them sardines. Uh, I think a can of sardines around me is about $1.39 a can, but heed my warning. When you find sardines, they need to be no salt added, no oil added. So they have to be no salt added, and they have to be in water. That's the only thing you should be getting to your Connie Corso or your dog. Don't give them any sardines that have added salt. Dogs can get salt toxicity, so you need to be careful with it. So there's no magic secret to how he, his coat got so well. It's not genetics. I mean, it's partially genetics. He doesn't have any skin disorders. It really comes internally, okay? It comes internally, and then the additional five, 10% is taking care of them, brushing them, bathing them, that type of thing. I hope this little information helped you. Check out the links in the description for that raw course. Anybody interested in the Ultimate Kane Corso guide course, A to Z, why I got them, how to choose a breeder, how to choose a puppy, talk about cropping and docking, the whole nine yards, it's in there. Make sure to do all the things, like, subscribe, ring the dinglings. Ring it, just ring it. You can't see his dingling. It's out though. I'm not even joking. I'm putting your dingling on blast. Red Rocket, Red Rocket, Red Rocket, Red Rocket. Yeah, he, he does not appreciate me putting his Red Rocket on blast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so Bruce Wayne and I, thank you guys for the support. Trying to keep this upbeat and happy, especially in these times with all the sadness that's going out there and all the violence and everything else. We have a large black community here, Bruce Wayne and I. We have your back, guys. We support you just as much as you support us, and even more. You know, you don't even have to support us. You know what? We're there for you. Um, 
I can't answer all the DMs, all the emails. I'm sorry, guys. There's just so many. I do answer them. I just can't answer them all. It's just random. You know, I'm, I'm so busy. Stay tuned for more videos. We're going to keep them upbeat. We're going to keep them positive. We're going to keep them fun. Bruce Wayne and I, out. Peace.